Science never proves anything. It is incapable of removing the shadow of doubt. And Thunderfoot correctly identifies why that is multiple times. It's because science is based on inductive logic. This is such a key point in an understanding of science. Science isn't about truth with a capital T. If you're looking for big T truth, you'd better head to the philosophy section of the library. Science only deals with inductively useful models. As an example, consider the history of models of planetary motion. We first have the Aristotelian system of perfect spheres, which was good as a general explanation, and was accepted as scientific truth to model how the stars moved. The Greeks, however, observed the wanderers, or planets, behave oddly, so a new model, based on Ptolemy's circles within circles, was proposed and accepted. Then the Ptolemaic model of geocentrism worked somewhat, and it was accepted as scientific truth because it was pretty good at explaining the current observations. It wasn't until new observations were made that the Ptolemaic system couldn't accommodate that scientists began looking for a better system more in line with experimental observation. Today we have a fairly accurate model that can predict where planets will be a million years out and explains a broad range of phenomenon, but it's still not capital T truth. It's just a highly predictive, highly useful model. Evolution is very similar. At one time, scientific truth was the platonic system of original perfect animals, mixing into half-breed hybrids, which is essentially what Sean believes in. It's very intuitive, but it fails to explain a number of observed phenomenon. 